Okay, this is a uh, modification from the previous setup. Originally, we just had the MMDVM connected, and uh, that was it. But now I decided to uh, introduce a uh, mobile small size duplexer in the mix. Uh, this will allow me to uh, not have to utilize an external duplexer. Uh, as you can see, uh, cable is, uh, comes from the receiver and it goes into the uh, the high side right off of the uh, Hytera motherboard and the transmit side goes to out to the amplifier which is an external cable that goes out and uh, that gets driven by a small coax cable I don't know if we can see it here okay it's underneath yeah okay there it is underneath the uh, right underneath the um, the power converter all right then it comes back and it goes into the uh, input of the uh, transmit side of the duplexer and from the duplexer uh, mix in and out RX and TX goes into this uh, port and is already duplex and here on the outside it's where the antenna would be connected so um, I took the time to uh, actually replace the entire PA since I have uh, six or seven of these repeaters I tested several PA amplifiers until I got one that was giving me out about 60 watts so I lowered it to 50 which is what they're supposed to be at and that way uh, we'll keep it within specs the fan now I had an issue since the fan was mounted sideways uh, right here cooling the uh, MMDVM and the Pi but unfortunately the fan is now too large so I already ordered a smaller fan uh, and that's gonna get mounted uh, on the side again but a much smaller size obviously something like a uh, Raspberry Pi cooling fan alright I guess that's it uh, I'm gonna run some tests uh, you know uh, sensitivity uh, uh, band pass and band reject uh, settings and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to put her on the air uh, sometime tomorrow. All right, seven trees.